Okay, first create a text with text tool, press T, or you can click this icon and type change the font to this cool Vertica. You can download the font on the link in the description. And scale it up with the select and transform objects. Hold Ctrl Shift to make it a proportional scale. Alright. Then let's create a font with the outer stroke. So to do that, convert it to path first. In path, choose the objective path. You cannot edit the text right now because it's already in path. Then click the text and right click, choose ungroup. Make it separate for each letter. Then last, make it combine in path, choose combine. Let's create an auto stroke. So press Ctrl D to duplicate. And I want to change the color to this white color and go to path choose the outset press the shortcut for a few times the control and close parenthesis press the outset shortcut for a few times let's see the result by sending it to the lower back click this icon or the shortcut is the back down Okay, you can increase it more. Control with close parentheses. Here I want to make it skew, so select all the text and click until you see this this skew. So I want to show you the difference if you holding shift or not. So this is the first one without holding shift. Okay, you can turn off this toggle snapping for now. So let's see. It will skew all the side. Undo it. And this time I'm holding shift, drag to move to the right. So it's only skew the top side. And let's change the text color to this color. Press D to activate the eyedropper tool, or you can click this icon. Or you can input this color code to edit objects or the shortcut is shift ctrl f and put it on here i want to change this color to this yellow so because it's in combine you can go to path break apart to separate the object and click this press d to activate the eyedropper tool and change it to this color okay make it a little corner so click this object and go to path choose the path effect click the plus icon and find the round corner all right press f2 to enter the edit mode now you can drag to round the corner okay in this two click this plus icon and with these corners and just make it round like this so this is the some typography logo don't forget to apply the path effect by going to path choose object path now it's applied to these objects and this go to path choose object path after you're done with this text don't forget to group it because I want to create a shine effect with clipping mask letter so select the each letter so hold shift then click including this i and right click choose group or the shortcut is ctrl g okay with busy tool press b and now draw a shape so start from here you can hold shift to lock the corner then release and on here too Hold shift then release and I'm holding shift in here too then release connect it to the first node press D to activate the eyedropper tool and change color to this color this is the lighter color from this base color so and remove the stroke right click choose remove stroke Duplicate the text, press Ctrl D, and 
still in duplicate so hold shift then click the shape and right click choose set clip okay so now you see it's a shine effect without the gradient and now the last thing I want to make uh, some blocky effect some extrusion so select this white stroke and press ctrl D to duplicate move on the bottom right corner make it some 45 degree change the color to this green color and press F1 to enter the select and transform objects and move it to the lower back I want to show you the easiest way how you can create uh, some extrude or blocky effect without using the bezier tool connect one by one on this outer right stroke press ctrl D to duplicate and select this green color so go to extension the from pad choose the interpolate I put a number by 200 take the interpolate style and use the order and active this live review the more number here it takes more process so it's depend on your hardware click apply then close and change the color to this green color press T and click this color press F1 and move it to the lower back okay and move it to lower back you can delete this path move it to the lower back again and I want to change this background color to this white color I hope you learned how to create this typography logo on Inkscape. This concept is based on the Swiffer logo and I try to make it on Inkscape. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.